Who's on the door? Tonight's episode, Marvel crossover, Avengers vs. X-Men, Joss Whedon's Avengers movie, and we boogaloo back to 1968 for Vision's first appearance. Comic Book Syndicate, assemble! Inside! down the street. Ryan Kelly's here from Detroit Comics. Yeah, no, come on back. Yeah, second yes, time. Yes, no, 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 no. no. Um, so, we're going to <laughs> review some uh, Marvel comics today. Ooh, we're Marvel starting comics. off, we're taking like a little backwards boogaloo to like 1968. We're going to be reviewing The Avengers. Number 57, <gasps> first, appearance, first of appearance of the Vision. So Mike, why don't you start us off with sure. giving us a little history of this the book. Is, yeah, this is the, um, the golden age of the Avengers, we'll call it. Uh, written by Roy Thomas, drawn by John Buscema. And to me, this is the heyday of the early Avengers. If you, if you want to start anywhere, this is the place to be. As everyone knows, the writing style back in the 60s was a little bit different. It was a little bit more melodramatic. Mm -hmm. But as J Grant Morrison calls it, he calls it Old Testament. It's poetic. Yeah, it's it's sing song, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. right? So I have a sample of the dialogue here that I'd like to read to you guys and tell me what you think, okay? The old, vision is confronting old timey. Exactly, yeah. The vision old is confronting timey. the wasp. And the vision says, Do what you will, you who are called the wasp. You cannot escape the searing gaze of my thermoscopic eyes. And the wasp says, That heat, it's unbearable. The vision says, Or soon shall be, when I increase its unimaginable power. Like isn't that awesome? That is <laughs> sing song, sing song, but poetic. If, if the Vision really had that voice, who would really fear him? Well, no, he doesn't sound like me. Okay, okay. No, no, no. Oh, you were just reading it. Yeah, I was okay. just reading it. I was just acting it out. But I, but anyway, in my opinion, the, the, it is melodramatic, in it, but you know, there's like great narration in here, and the art is incredible, and for that reason, I highly recommend this comic. I thought it was great. So I just want to touch on the art because George is our, our uh, expert artiste on the panel. Can you, uh, George, give us a little uh, lowdown on the art and uh, what's happening in there? Uh, I didn't actually appreciate this gentleman's art till later in life. Like, I mean, I think he did, uh, was it Wolverine? Silver, Silver Surfer? Yeah, Beautiful. when he was Patch. Brilliant. Yeah, when he was Patch. And yeah. I, I the hated night level I, Yeah, I hated it. But then as I as I looked at his artwork like like later on I think like I think the classic one in this one is if you want to talk about the art of the, what they did was was an android doesn't cry I know and it's and just that wonderful that is, beautiful, beautiful like moment you had like the stormy rainy scenes and the tears and mm -hmm. like I hadn't seen anything like that before rain I got in the falls reprint. on the parched city a rain that sends all scurrying for shelter it makes me want to cry. Wow. Old Testament. But yeah, they did it. I think, I think the art certainly uh, suits the story mm -hmm. very well. It is a soap opera Marvel classic comic. So, Brian, uh, the funniest uh, name of uh, pretty much any character that's gotten their name in some sort of weird scenario, and it just, no, no, it's some sort of unearthly inhuman vision. And that's, and that's it. And that's, 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 that's how, how he, it happened. That's yes. how he got his name. Oh, my God. Yeah, so... <laughs> How familiar are you with the 1960s I, Avengers, like the Silver Age stuff? I, I'm not. I'm not too uh, too versed. However, I mean, actually, it makes me crazy. I'm not gonna lie. It was it, reading this made me want to <laughs> burn it in my hands. It was horrible. Really? But, uh, yes. I mean, I I do understand getting the point to whatever scene is happening without man of mine or uh, God damn. But here's like, some, here's some we don't swear in Canada. We don't? No. Do I have to fill out a form? <laughs> Probably. All right. Yeah, your, your thermoscopic eyes and the... Uh, we already said uh, that, Brian. Uh, are you, damn it. Are you criticizing the writing uh, style? No, I'm saying the way you were able to present it to us. Yes. Um, well, it was done in a very melodramatic and very, like, to-the-point way because I think at this point, when these guys were writing this, they were talking and, and even drawing it, it was very in-your-face. Like, that's why I'm yeah, saying... Yeah, you had to point out, look... There's a curb Whoa. on the ground, and you have to look well, at it. Time out. And it is a wonderful. Here is a metaphor. <laughs> okay, perhaps my spoke, dad touched me. Perhaps, I'm saying, perhaps you spoke too hand. soon, he my, just my friend. Hand, that's all. If he has his jungle bred instinct on his side, <laughs> Black Panther. Black Black Whoa. Whoa. I know it's right here. Oh, you so, cannot I mean, see that. That goes over yeah, the right, doesn't it? 
Oh yeah, that's oh, right. Yeah. He's from Detroit. That's right. It's okay. Uh, <laughs> so, did you enjoy the story? I, I love the old. I love the old Silver Age stuff. I mean, yeah, it's it's cheesy. It is what it is. But you know what? Reading X Men versus Avengers was it was just as bad as well. Reading <laughs> well, we'll get into the, the old yeah, Silver Age stuff. Here's but, the thing: is that yeah, like to me, this this was obviously written for kids. And kids were eating this up. It was written, we eat, written like, for I kids love by it. adults. Like, I, I can filter out the mellow drama and the cheese, and I can really enjoy it. You know what I mean? Like, and the thing is, is even just the, the art, like every pan, it's almost like reading Marvels by Alex Ross. Like every panel, there's so much going on that that's enough for me to enjoy the art. The writing is melodramatic, but again, poetry. You know what but I mean? But like, it is, but it, it is close to 50 <laughs> years old. It is close to that, yeah. right? Yeah. Like, so... I mean, let's look at music 50 years ago and then see how it translates today and like well, listening to certain tracks yeah, and whatever. Like I mean, Nirvana. It's... <laughs> so do you think, like if, if a young reader was to read this, do you think it's a, it's a good introduction to today's comics? You mean or... to like comedy? I don't, think, I don't think the audience nowadays has patience for this. To I go mean, through it. I think it's, 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 be, um, they would look at this as like remember remember that scene in Back to the Future Two where they go. Uh, I just you know, watched it. Two it's the video ago. game, and they're like, "You have to use your hands. Mm. It's like a baby's toy, mm. you know." And then it's this is like a baby's Wait, comic. Time out. I think it, it's just so. In, they would get so bogged down in the the but, insipidness of the dialogue that it wouldn't make sense anymore. Not following. I mean, it takes an older eye to actually. So if understand. you had to rate this, we're, I'm going to ask you to rate it out of five sons. So but in add. in comparison to Fractions. all other comics that were out during that time, he's trying to make I, it better, and it's not. I know. I really, <laughs> Come on. I mean, I, it's still bad. Two two point five. Okay. Yep. Uh, I'm going just strictly on the art. This is like, a, what do, do we have? Ten stars. It's beautiful. <laughs> it's out of I five love it. damn suns, man. All right, I'll go five no stars. Full. The dialogue, panels, everything is just it's 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 1968 to the T. I don't think anyone else mm -hmm. was doing this kind of art. This kind of storytelling at that point. Uh, yeah, art is I'll agree with that. five out of five. Writing is three out of five, so it averages four. But this art is state of the art as far as comic Whoa. books. This is beautiful. This should be hanging in a museum. It's so good. So I don't have a pen. I want to write that down. That? That's four. Four sons. I love Silver Age stuff. I have a soft spot for it. I mean, that's pretty much what I collect. I'm going to so, I'm going to give it four out of five sons, and that's probably like the the big the best review I've given any. Only yeah. because the art is, I mean, I love Bouchard. And it's, it's amazing. worth some money, too. Yeah, it's worth pretty good coin, and that's why I don't open it up. But <laughs> come right back. We're going to review X-Men versus Avengers. <laughs>